Thanks for stopping by. Welcome to my channel of all things music and spirit. Make yourself at home, grab a cup of coffee, grab a friend, and enjoy. Our voices and music resonate on certain frequencies. The Bible says strive to be more Christ-like. So that brings me to the question, what frequency is God speaking on? I see love and agreement. According to Matthew chapter 18, verse 19, Jesus said, again, I say to you that if two or three agree on earth about anything that they may ask, it shall be done for them by my Father who is in heaven. For where two or three are gathered in my name, I am there in their midst. Agreement is the New Testament word for the scientific term entrainment. Entrainment is the physical agreement between two or more objects or people. In order to physically agree, people must spiritually agree first and then speak it into existence. It is the sound of your voice that completes this. If you want me to jump on a trampoline with you, I have to agree and then get myself on. However, once I'm on, I am subject to your rhythm. The Greek word for agree here in Matthew is symphoneo, where the word symphony came from. This is very key in understanding because it shows us the power of the sound of the symphony, of music, and of our prayers together, and not just two or three people saying yes. We have to symphoneo, or symphony, our prayers and music together. Let's look at both sides of the symphoneo agreement. Soldiers, when crossing a bridge, must go and break step. Because on April 12, 1831, British soldiers collapsed the Broughton Suspension Bridge walking in step. It wasn't because of the weight, it was because of the resonance that was matched and met with the molecules of the bridge itself. This is why, going over a freeway bridge, there are those little bumps. The gaps are there for expansion and contraction with the change of the weather, but they're slightly raised and lower to throw off the resonance of the cars driving across. This helps to scientifically explain how God wasn't only testing obedience in Joshua chapter 6 in the Battle of Jericho. The military, still to this day, knows the power of marching together in step. The instructions in the book of Joshua were march around the city for six days and don't make a sound. Why not make a sound? Because the only sound that was allowed was the sound of obedience and faith, the sound of unity. So for six days, they marched without being able to complain or question. When you march together, your heartbeat and your breathing rate all come into entrainment with one another. This was unity. Whenever this happens, either a revival or a riot breaks out. On the seventh day, they marched around six times, and on the seventh time, they were finally allowed to make a shout and blow their trumpets to make a certain sound so that the walls crumbled and fell down flat so that every man could go straight over. Let's start a revival and not a riot with our music. Let's use music to change the world again. Thanks for tuning in. Feel free to like, comment, and share this video. And if you're new around here and you like what you see, subscribe today and be a part of the family. Check out my music in the links below. Shalom.